welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, episode 64. Okay, so three One Make Race events are down, and obviously we still have many more to go. And so, next up, we are going to head over to North City once again, to officially get on with our fourth and fifth events in the North City One Meg races, which are available at Volkswagen. And as you can see here, there are two events available, as we have the Golf Cup and the New Beetle Cup. So for my first cup, well, I'm going to go for the cheapest option I can purchase here, and that is the Golf Mark IV GTI. And well, since I had a look through the colours, I ultimately decided in the end that, well, just because I was wanting to be different, I would get this car in orange. Also because I actually like this thing in orange. Don't at me. And just gonna do my usual engine tuning for this thing, you know, just to give it couple more horses, even though I probably don't need them, but you know. Just a monetary proportion as usual. And yes, I do have the money to do this. And we are going to head up to the Golf Cup. And as you can see here, this is also the first event, sorry, the first manufacturer we can go to that actually has more than just a single event. And there's quite a few manufacturers that have that. And well, now of course we're going to head over to race 1. So yeah, Volkswagen. The first manufacturer we go to that has more than just a single one make race event. Let's head over to the race itself and see how we go. Hopefully we can do well. As for our first race, we are going to Trial Mountain. Well, that is only the second time that we have officially raced at Trial Mountain. Also, furthermore, yes, it is on the forward course. So, I went for the cheapest option, and essentially overall, I am wondering if I'll benefit from this. Because obviously, there could be potential power differences, but hopefully that doesn't fluster me too much, because I'm fairly certain I can still fight for positions, regardless of what cars I choose to drive, especially if it means of course I have to go very high on the rubs, as you may have just seen there through the tunnel, but yeah. So down the inside I go, and I have managed to make it work, I am now leading at Trial Mountain for the first time of the exit of the second hairpin and narrowly avoiding the bank or the rock I should probably say that is as I am now up into the lead for the first time coming around now to completing my first lap and just under two minutes a one minute 59.7 was officially the time I set on the first lap at a maximum speed of 184.21 kilometers an hour and still keeping myself on the racing line I think 
even if it looks like I was cheating, I didn't think I was. But again, I could be wrong. And well, everything at the moment is actually going... It's actually going more or less the way I was expecting it to. As it now very much looks like... This could be a potential W. As I am covering the inside line from this AI to stay on the defensive line. I am still leading at the present time in my Tropic Orange Mark IV V-Dub Golf GTI. And got a little bit of uh, oversteer there, I think that was, but still managing to hold on to the lead as we now head down to the final chicane on this course, at least I think this is a chicane under the Bridgestone Bridge, another Bridgestone Bridge, and it is victory in race one. Still I rise. And, we had, and most of these cars in this event were actually BW Golf GTIs. Even though obviously I drove the cheapest of those to the W and I beat the VW Golf V6. And then it was basically just GTIs at the back of the field. But still, even then, that was a very close race. Because gap from 1st to 6th, only just under 1.3 seconds. That is very close. Meanwhile, one race down and there is still another race to go. To see if we can go for the win. But anyways. In order for me to do that, obviously, I will need to do the usual. So, this thing a turbo. And indeed it is a turbo, but obviously, I'm not going to make this... Oh, okay. Intercooler isn't available, so... Eh, fuck it. I'll get the stage 1 turbo. And I'll basically blame myself if I've made it too easy, but whatever. That's about all I'm going to do before I do the weight reduction. Because these one make events have already started pretty much chomping up my cash. So weight reduction is done, all we need to do now is the racing mod. And also, we can have two types of racing mods here as well. Oh, I do actually like this one, but again, I think it looks too similar to my Tigra, so... Oh, okay, we got another type. And is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh. You know what? I think I'll go... I think I'll go for this one, you know, because... You know, because this car has three different types of racing mods, and so... I think overall, I'm just going to use this one, even though there are only two colours available, but eh, fuck it, I'll use this one, because I dare to be different. And so, I think I'll also head over to the wheel shop with this one, maybe see if there's any decent ones I can get, maybe from Ankai. I'm trying to see if there's any suitable rims I can put on this thing. Hmm. That's actually not too bad. Actually... You know what? Yeah, I think I'll get these ones, you know, just because... You know, just because... 
I want to be completely different to the AI and that's essentially what I'm going to do. So yeah, so to anyone asking, there will be certain cars that I will put the rims on but obviously I won't put the rims on all of them. But anyways, let's head over to the racing homologation event of the Golf Cup, as we are now going to Clubman Stage Route 5, but will it be forward or reverse? We shall have to wait and find out. Since most of these one way places only have about Since most of these races only have about pretty much one sorry. Since most of these one make races have in the two races, the other ones only have one. Which is essentially meaning of course that I will not have to racing modify every car I purchase, but again, I will be purchasing most of them. Also, it is good to know that this car does have three different types of racing modes as well. Even though my choice on colours may be short, I do actually like this racing mod. Because I decided for this one I was going to be completely different and go for the third one. And then obviously when I did, I actually gave myself a choice that I could agree with, but anyways. One lap is down at Clubman Stage Route 5, since this is also the forward course. And already at the present time, I am officially up in front. Looks like everything in this race is going more or less according to plan. Um, the W is not too easy, but obviously I do have an interval to these AI since obviously we're back to strong rubber banding once again. And I think I'm going to hold them off for the win, and indeed I do. I also believe at the same time... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. This is the first time I've actually raced at the stage with five and one loops. Gap from first to sixth in the end. Precisely... Just under two seconds in the end. As we had one Golf V6 makes two other GTIs in this event and two V5s in this event. And well, obviously, since I can save these replays again, obviously, that's essentially what I'm going to do. So, another six grand for winning. I probably shouldn't have changed the rims, but obviously, it's just the choice I take whenever I do or don't want to change the wheels for these racing mods and well, I emerge with victory in the end, that's all I can really say. But yeah, so, going to save the replay now since I do have the shots I need for each of these and obviously this is now segment number 64 and I shall move on. <sighs> okay. The golf cup is now complete. 
and I did it using the GTI because I dare to be different. So, the golf club is now complete. Next up is the new beetle challenge. And so, in the end of that, we are now up to 60.73%. And also, my average win ratio is still continuing to climb. And also, we have 99 cars in our garage now. So one more, and then I will have reached the maximum number of cars I can have in a garage. But anyways. Next up is the new Beetle Cup. And so, on that basis, stay tuned for more GT2.